Hey Sagittarius and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your weekly love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Just give me one minute to finish shuffling here. We will get started. I think all my cards are upside down. They are. Okay. Sagittarius, what's going on this week in love? Ooh, all sorts of stuff. Absolutely amazing. Okay. You guys have the Eight of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles here. You also have the Hanged Man, the Two of Swords, the Eight of Swords. And the Seven of Swords. The Empress and the Queen of Wands as your energy. Wow. What you don't see coming is the King of Swords with the Nine of Cups. All right. <clears throat> Sagittarius, so what really I see here is you guys are coming out of a cycle. We have Eight, Nine, Ten of Swords, and then starting back over with the Ace. We have all of them here. Yeah, seven, eight, nine, ten. So um, you're coming out of a cycle where you've been overthinking. You could have been self-sabotaging. Uh, you could have been feeling like you've been trapped in a relationship and you don't know how to get out. Um, there's all sorts of uh, thoughts going through your head, worries, um, anxieties, and uh, it's time to let those all go, which you are with that Ace of Swords there. Um, let's see what the Eight of Wands is about. You're receiving, wow. Very quick communication that's going to bring you a lot of joy and happiness this week. Could be taking a new path, starting out something new. This could be something that you've been um, worrying about a lot, anxiety. Um, but this is really just true, following your true life's purpose. You're um, receiving communication about that. Quick messages, could be text messages or emails, hearing from somebody that's going to help you start over to um, really take that leap into something that you haven't been so sure of. Um, and it's going to allow you to fully, to fully just let it go and, and see where it takes you. All right. Let's see where the Ten of Swords, what this Ten of Swords is about. Thank you. Okay, you have the King of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Page of Wands. So you could have been dealing with somebody who's pretty immature, um, somebody who could have been emotionally manipulative uh, for a little while. Things are changing, though. Things are moving in your favor, um, and it's going to favor your in favor you in the love department. You could be um, receiving uh, some sort of message about how things are going to change. So you could be... <clears throat> Like this with the eight of wands is very quick communication. It's, you know, it's internet, it's, it's text messaging. It's really going to fill your heart. It's really going to make you so happy and you're going to be able to let go of the stress and the worry and overthinking of the past. You're going to feel like you're giving, give, been given a new opportunity here. You are reaping the seeds that you've sown in the past. Why is Ace of Swords here? And it's letting you also work like with the divine. So either your prayers are being answered or you're um, working with some sort of, you know, spirituality. Um, but it is going to, wow, bring you in um, a sense of stability, focusing on making money, focusing on um, becoming stable within the relationship after being in a cycle where it was very, you had to defend yourself constantly. That's, that's going away. Um, you could have been fighting for this job. You could have been really wanting it bad um, because you felt it would bring the best out in you. It would nurture you and it would financially be successful. Um, and by you connecting to the divine, it is it is bringing you in the divine truth. This is a very strong spiritual practice as well. Or um, this is your husband um, supporting your decision to move forward and take this new job or, you know, long-term commitment, whatever, however, um, it pertains to you. They're being very supportive, whoever that person is in your life. All right. The Ace of Pentacles. This is God's gift for an opportunity to build something pretty abundant, um, that will eventually bring you to that 10 of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? This is an opportunity. This is a gift. 
Um, this is something you've been dreaming about. This is something within the esoteric or the healing arts. Um, this is being confident and sure that this is what you want. And by you being confident, you know, and visualizing and dreaming about this, the divine is allowing you um, this opportunity to build something strong, to build something on a solid foundation, fire science. Um, and the delay is about to be over. But the two of pentacles, you could have been going back and forth about what you wanted to do. Um, you're needing to balance things out. This could be living paycheck to paycheck. That's about over with this hanged man. You needed to grow a little bit more before you could move in this direction. Um, ooh. Could be moving in the direction of a new relationship as well. Let's see what this two of pentacles is for. Thank you. The Ten of Wands. Yeah, this this hanged man was needed because you had to learn a few more lessons along the way before you were ready for this situation. Um, and you needed to remove the burden and lay down, you know, take the physical action to release this heaviness from your life. So you could take that time to heal, to rejuvenate, to um, rest and recoup. And now that you have done that, the hanged man is, or you're coming out of this time of pause, delay. Um, but in that time of pause and delay, you learned a lot about yourself. You've become more enlightened. You've grown as a person. Your soul has, um, you know, gained more light. It's just, this is, this hanged man has done nothing but benefit you. Um, you, you're needing to take off the blindfold and see the people that are not in your life for the right reason. There's something or someone here. It could be a job, but something makes you feel like crap, and it's time to let that go. You're just kind of ignoring the obvious. Um, could be somebody that you're in a physical relationship with. Um, it doesn't have to be, but you are going to go within and find that that nurturing energy to move forward, that strength that is needed. Um, and this could... I mean, this doesn't have to be your person that you need to walk away from um, because I do see your person as being very supportive here um, on your side, but they need to, they need to see it first. I don't know what that means. Why is a seven and eight of swords here? You could be uh, growing your own business. Yeah, thank goodness. You are leaving the past in the past. Bottom of the deck, seven of swords in reverse. You have been holding on to emotional baggage for far too long, and it's been weighing you down. It's been affecting your thoughts. It's been affecting your your feelings, your relationship. What's done in the past is in the past. It needs to be released. It needs to be let go of, and it needs to be healed from because that block was putting up you know, walls in your life and you didn't even realize it, but you are getting out of this thought prison. You are releasing that. You're moving away from that energy. You're moving towards healing and, um, arriving at the sword of truth. So taking life into your own hands, you are creating something big based on the truth of the divine. Um, seeing coming out of confusion, no longer confused about who you are or what you want. This is an amazing week for you, Sagittarius. Why is this Queen of Wands here? Coming into your own element, you're you're just truly feeling like you're on cloud nine here. You're very confident. You're looking very good. Um, yeah, and it's because you're releasing, you're putting down all this heaviness. That finally completed the, the cycle. You're putting down all that heaviness. Um, you could be uh, communicating with somebody, or this is in the field of communications. Your um, your truth is going to be spoken, and it's going to be heard, and it's going to successfully move you forward um, towards somebody who you already have a past with, somebody you either have children with, or somebody that you've known for since childhood, or somebody that you have a lot of fond memories with. Um, six. 66 is a huge angel number for you. You might want to look that up, but it's successfully leading you towards finding your own self again, having the confidence to move forward, having confidence to um, go and put yourself out in the world. You're hearing the wake up call. You're hearing that you need to do this. You need to communicate what your truth, you need to communicate what it is that, um, what you have to create, whatever you create in the divine truth is going to lead you to huge prosperity um, and a balanced emotions, um, living in your heart space, 
with somebody who wants to create a life with you, making and building a stronger and better home, um, making your life more stable, more secure, and uh, really bringing you wish fulfillment giving you everything you want you have the star and the nine of cups both wishes coming true you have the wheel which is faded um beautiful destiny coming in for you in the positive because it is in the upright so it's time to speak your truth create what it is that you wish to create and your person will um be on board with you one card for the week in love for sagittarius weekly love reading thank you you deserve love. You are lovable. Bottom of the deck is past life relationship. So um, this so reminds me of Sagittarius too with that archer. Um, you are lovable. Do what you love. Be out there and putting yourself out there in what you love and it will work out. Don't worry about how things are going to get done. Don't worry about, you know, you could be living paycheck to paycheck and don't know how you're going to move forward and do this. But I promise you, if you are doing what you love and spreading that light that divine light and living in your own truth, creating your life in truth, you are going to find or you are going to um, make a difference in this world. And you are lovable. You deserve love because you deserve every day to be doing what you love to do. Nobody should be going and hating their life every single day. It's time to hear the wake up call. It's, it's time to listen to your angels because success is wanting to find you. And it will if you allow it, uh, Sagittarius. So I hope you guys have a beautiful weekend or a beautiful week, and I will see you guys next time.